Hello, and welcome to Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. In today's video, um, I'm trying to do something a little simpler, and you know, it's January, so it's cold out. Um, I'm actually going to be setting up um, like a seed starting um, deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, put seeds in some dirt, but keep them indoors until we see some sprouts to be able to put them outside. Um, this is a great thing, especially if you have some space to do it. Um, starting your seeds inside just allow them to be a little bit stronger come springtime. Um, get you a little bit of a head start, get a bit more growth. You know, maybe slightly earlier flowers. Um, you do need to be make sure that, you know, conditions aren't too drastic. Um, you know, if you're someone who, you know, doesn't run your heater at all and it's going to be, you know, like 40 degrees in your place. You know, you're going to need like a heating pad, little miniature greenhouse, something along those lines. Something to keep it somewhat warm. Um, for me personally, it's not going to get that cold in here, so... Just going to, uh, like I said, seeds in the dirt, container in an area to keep an eye on it, make sure moisture levels are good, and uh, after we see some sprouts, put it outside. Um, so obviously, this video isn't going to be showing the sprouts and and everything like that, um, but eventually, you know, we'll do a little update video on you know this and other plants and everything else. Um, but yeah, um, happy 2024, uh, first video of the year, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so um, obviously we need a container. Uh, I choose here uh, Peddington, it's just the brand I get. You've seen them in a few other videos if you've seen my videos. 10-inch uh, terracotta planter. Obviously, cannot uh, do a container without proper drainage. I like these. Again, said it before. Um, there should be a link in the description. Uh, if they come in various sizes. Get one. They're worth it. They're reusable. I believe they help. Um, drain it by planket. And... Uh, Use them in your containers. Like I said, they work. And for the seeds today. Uh, okay, full disclosure, I guess, on the seeds. Um, most all of the seeds I have were actually bought beginning of last year, of 2023. And uh, I hope they're still viable. Um, I always think that, like, okay, if you still have seeds, as long as they weren't horribly maintained... Most should still be, but you'll lose a little bit of viability, but they'll still be fine. Um, but with that being said, you know, don't expect great production uh, from old seeds. Right. So, here we have uh, butterfly weed. Um, it's a type of milkweed. And uh, well, burpee, because they're the ones I bought. It's... Uh, various brands obviously will have it. Um, what I always like with any seeds is, hey, obviously, <laughs> kind of matches my, orange is my favorite color, so uh, that kind of works there. Um, when it comes to buying seeds or plants or anything like that for your garden, for containers, for a patio, for anything, buy what you like the look of. Um, now, if you can... Obviously, going native, you know, even locally sourced. You know, if you know someone who has a, a plant you really like, talk to them. Say, hey, you know, is it possible for me to get a cutting or uh, some seeds from it, seed pods? However, you know, whatever the plant is, however it, you know, procreates, uh, reproduces. Um, you know, see if you can get that. That'll make sure that the plant's grown are better suited for the local environment. Obviously, native is always a good choice. Um, but let's be honest. I mean, there's a reason gardening and 
everything is, you know, worldwide and people go to the far edges of the world. Because technically not corners. It's all round. Unless you believe otherwise and then... But, you know, I digress. Um, You know... Yeah, some things can be considered invasive. I don't really like the term invasive plants. Um, I'm a firm believer in, you know, nature knows best. And if the plant can survive, it will. If it thrives, it will. If it can't, it dies. Uh, survival of the fittest kind of a deal. Um, and let's not, you know, forget that the more plants, the more oxygen, less CO2, which in today's world is a hot topic. Um, so just find plants that you like. Um, but do be careful, depending on where you live. Just going to put that there. Um, but, you know, you don't always have to go native. Again, it is the best choice. But just find plants that you like, that you like the look of, the smell of, and grow those. Um, okay, so we're going to be uh, basically just putting plants in dirt. I mean, I've done this a couple of times. Got got my, uh, my, my bag of dirt sitting over here. And uh, just going to do this. I do have quite a few seeds. Is this is this overkill? Um, maybe, but like I said, viability being what it is, and I really want these to grow, but I haven't had very good luck with them. I've probably bought all kinds of from different brands and everything. And all right, so obviously, uh. I know my face isn't quite coming in when I'm up like this. Um, I can't actually see the screen this time. Um, trying to do video quality a little better, but just with actually doing this, and um, I just felt it was this would look a little bit better. If you don't think so, please do let me know. I am a <laughs> camera <laughs> new to YouTube. Um, you know. Constructive criticism, 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 you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I actually do kind of like the input. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. But anyway. Um, and if you, you, know, you happen to be watching this and you either find it hilarious or ridiculous or stupid or great or fantastic or, you know, whatever, um, let people know because, you know, kind of would like this channel to grow a bit. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. Well, good. Okay. Drain it. It's just simple. There you go. Well, take that go. Straighten it up a little bit. <laughs> it's that simple. Um. All right. And now for dirt. I'm going to move it over this way, so I'm closer to the to the dirt bag. Anyway, so I don't make as much of a mess. But you're dealing with plants and dirt. If you're not making a mess, are you doing it right? Anyway. You can still see me. All right. Instead of trying to go from the floor up, let just bring the back up here. Another thing, um, maybe you can see it. This is obviously Miracle Grow Moisture Control. I do like it. Um, I'll be honest, I'll probably be actually trying a different soil than next back of soil I need to get. Um, but that'll be a future video. Um, I always like buying the biggest bag I can possibly buy. 
and then as I use it, I just trim it down, just cut it to make it more manageable. Um, you do what you want to do. I've even seen people buy the largest bag and literally just cut holes in the bag, lay it down, and use the bag itself as a planter. Now, obviously, being in an apartment, that's not an option for me. Um, but, you know, do with that information what you will. Obviously, pouring it in would be better than scooping it. Um, but, I, I said, I'm in my room and this is my bed. So, the table is on my bed. But, you know, minimize the amount of mess potential. Something. All right, so as you can see, got the dirt fairly close to the top. Now, when it comes to putting seeds in dirt, I mean, in all honesty, it's not that complicated, so do whatever. Um, I, I, I kind of believe just that the nature process, again, is, uh, you know, that there's no one out in nature digging little holes and separating everything by a distance and all of that. So, I just sprinkle seeds. That's what I do. Um, sometimes I'll put the seeds in and I'll rough, I'll, I'll just kind of pull, pour all the seeds in and then I'll rough up the dirt. Sometimes I'll put seeds in and I'll take a little bit more dirt and I'll cover it on top. Um, sometimes I do a combination of, you know, whatever methods. Uh, just seeds in contact with dirt, and then water it. Um, I won't be watering it in here, because obviously, um, but when I set it up where I'm going to keep it for the rest of winter, I will, and I will show you, obviously, because that's kind of the point of the video. All right, seeds. Honestly, I feel that individual seed packs are a waste. You get this entire pack. I would rather these packages be filled with seeds and it cost more money than to be paying, what was this, almost $2, $169. <laughs> um, and... The seeds don't, are only up to here, and they don't even fill the whole the whole row. That's it. The rest of this is wasted space and packaging. Now I understand they do these packages for because they're gonna have all kinds of seeds. But the problem is, is I mean, you're wasting the potential here. If you have a chance, buy bulk seeds. There's various suppliers um, buy bulk seeds, you know, half pound, one pound, whatever. Um, n I never go by the, oh, this covers so many square feet or whatever. I probably have acreage worth of seeds in all of my containers. You know why? Because not everything sprouts. So... I overseed a lot to make sure that I get something. Back to this. Wouldn't you know, I've got to go get scissors. Everything scissors. Scissors. Again, fairly self-explanatory. Take your seeds and dump them out. These are very, very, very tiny seeds. So I always like double checking 
sometimes they'll get stuck in the corners. Um, just, you don't want to be wasting them. I mean, like I said, but just shake it a little bit. Cut the top off. And sprinkle them on. See, in this one, there was one little one stuck about right here. So you just got to make sure you try to get every last little one out. All right, so now I've done a little bit more than half. Uh, I am gonna take just my fingers and just kind of rough them up just a little bit. Cause you know, things walk out in nature and they mess up the soil and root around and peck and whatnot. So just, that also guarantees that more have, you know, a bit more contact with the, with the soil. And that's it. Just put seeds in dirt. On dirt. Yeah. Um, again, it's not that complicated. Anybody can do it. Um, but again, the main point of this is um, I'm starting this in you know, early January. And uh, going to try to give them as much time that they can germinate and everything. Uh, before springtime. Um, so let me go uh, show you where I'm going to put it. Let me go and show you where I'm going to place the container and uh, go from there. Okay, so uh, I'm in my living room and uh, I'm going to basically put this on the coffee table. Um, so, a couple of years ago, I tried to buy a little, one of those little miniature Christmas trees they sell at the grocery stores, H-E-B in my case, and uh, it didn't do too well. It lived for a while, um, but then it just didn't, and then I, of course, didn't keep it watered. I mean, I kept it watered, but it just didn't survive because, you know, lighting situation. I mean, as you can tell, it's kind of dark here, um, but let me show you. My little turtle lamp. I love this thing. Anyway, they're not the topic of the video. So, this is an old crystal miniature Christmas tree that died off. And I just literally just haven't done anything with it. So, uh, this is where I'm going to place it. Um, I will be composting this. So, anybody who's concerned about that, I will be composting this. And I will be keeping the little container here. Make sure you have your drain pan because you don't want water going everywhere. And look at that. Now it's inside and it's, uh, I'll water it here in a second. And, uh, just for anybody interested, this is the, uh, wisteria I planted in another video. And I uh, brought it inside because it's going to be getting well below freezing. So it has done pretty well. My tank even cleared up a little bit. Doesn't quite look like it on camera, but in person it does look a little clear. And it was clear, then it greened up again. Um, I keep trying different things, but you can actually see a bit more in there now. But anyway, neither one of these are the topic of this video. Let me go grab a thing of water and uh, water this up real quick. Again, it's not, 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 a, not a complicated process. Watering dirt. Dirt. A jug of water. This is actually an old uh, 
vinegar jug. Uh, I just use it for plants because, well, otherwise it'd be trash. And all you do is you just water. Try to be gentle. Obviously being indoors, you don't want to do too much water. Just to give the top a nice soak. And then it's going to sit here. And I will uh, see if anything sprouts. Uh, keep it nice and watered and everything. Um, another thing. The same company that makes the, the little drain pans makes a deep dish one. Mmm, deep dish. This one's obviously a little dusty. It's just been sitting here. Um, if you want to, I'm not saying you have to, and you can do whatever, whatever you want. Is you take one of these, you turn it over on top. It's just about the right size, because I bought it that way. Um, and it basically makes it a little greenhouse to keep moisture in. I have unfortunately found that a lot of times, anytime I've had tops on containers for seed starting, I get a bad mold issue. So I, 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 don't, I don't recommend this anymore. But if you want to, this is an easy way to do it. And it gives, obviously, good plant height and everything. Um, just keep an eye out on it. That kind of sounds painful. Anyway. Anyway, so, seeds and dirt. Inside, waiting for spring. That's it. Now. Nah. All right. Thank you for watching Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to, um, share the video, share the channel, yada, yada, you know, all that. Um, if I can find links to everything I used, which I think only a couple items, I'll put a link in the description. Do it again. Do with that what you want. Um, but yeah, till next time, be smart, stay safe, have fun. Oh, I gotta turn it around. Hmm. Dirt bag.